Kazai Winner Circle. The 61st UFC Fight Night card will take place in Porto Alegre, Brazil, and this is the first time that the Brazilian city has hosted the UFC. The main event was supposed to be Glover Teixeira and former champion Rashad Evans, but the Brazilian Teixeira hasn't recovered from a knee injury, so the UFC took the headline from UFC 184 and moved it here. Now, Antonia Silva and Frank Mir will put the heavyweights in the spotlight in a very important bout for both men. As per usual, when the UFC heads to Brazil, the entire card is loaded with Brazilian talent. In the Antonio Silva vs. Frank Mir heavyweight fight, Silva comes in at 18-5 with 1NC. He is better known as Bigfoot and is known for his incredible power, but he has two first-round knockout losses and a draw against Mark Hunt that was turned into a no contest because he failed a drug test. This isn't Silva's first time having issues with drugs, so he might need a decisive win to prove he did it cleanly to stay in the UFC. Mir, at 16-9, has held the UFC heavyweight title belt on both an interim and undisputed basis in the past, but he has lost four straight, including two by technical knockout. Mir is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and is arguably the best grappler at heavyweight, but Silva is a big load to bring down to the mat, and even though he is known for striking, he is also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The loser might be out of a job in the UFC after this match. In the Edmund Barbosa vs. Michael Johnson lightweight fight, Barbosa at 15-2 is well known for bringing excitement to his fights, winning the fight of the night four times, and he is 9-2 in 11 matches in the UFC, but he gets overlooked in a competitive 155-pound division. Johnson at 15-8 has won his last three in impressive fashion and finished second to Jonathan Brookins at the Ultimate Fighter GSP vs. Koscheck but he got into legal trouble that essentially ended his 2014 season. Both men like to stand and strike, although Johnson has a wrestling background he can turn to. Barbosa is more of a Muay Thai striker, but he does have a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. In the Cesar Ferreira vs. Sam Alvey middleweight fight, Ferreira 8-3 won the Ultimate Fighter Brazil middleweight tournament and has won three of his last four and he returns home where he has fought four of his last five fights. He is well-rounded, but Ferreira is a third-degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and two of his losses have come via knockout, so he might be better suited to take this to the mat. Alvi, at 24-6, has fought from 170 to 205 pounds, but he has fared best at 185, and the Wisconsin native has split his first two UFC matches. He can wrestle, but Alvi's strength is in his knockout power as he has won 15 fights via knockout and should want to keep this fight standing up as Ferreira is definitely better on the ground. In the Rustam Kavalov vs. Adriano Martins lightweight fight, Kavalov is 17-2, had a six-win fight streak stopped by former lightweight champ Ben Henderson, but the Russian gave a good account of himself and really showed how much depth there is at 155 pounds. Martins, at 26-7, bounced back from a knockout loss to Donald Cerrone to knock out Juan Puig, while he has knocked out 12 fighters in his career. Martins is also a world-class grappler that has won two world championships. This could end up being the fight of the night between two men that would love to shoot up the ranks at 155 pounds. In the Ayuri Alcantara vs. Frankie Science bantamweight fight, Alcantara is 31-5 with 1-NC. He puts a three-win streak on the line, and he is dangerous wherever the fight goes with 13 knockout and technical knockouts to go with 12 submissions. Science is 9-2 and, and started out at flyweight, but beat Nolan Tickman in his UFC debut at 135 pounds, and he also seems to be well-rounded with three knockout TKOs and two submissions. Alcantara has the edge and experience, and the crowd will definitely be behind the Brazilian native, but Science, who hails from Phoenix, won't roll over as he looks to continue his five-fight winning streak. In the Santiago Ponzinibbio vs. Sean Strickland welterweight fight, Ponsonibio is 19-2. He comes from Argentina and has split his first two UFC matches. And overall, he has 11 KO TKOs to go with six submissions. So he'll look to use his striking, but he won't be worried if the fight goes to the mat. Strickland is 15-0, and he brings his perfect record into the octagon. He has won his first two UFC fights, and he has seven KO TKO wins to his credit to go with four submission wins. However, he is used to fighting at 185 pounds, and it'll be interesting to see how the weight cut feels for Strickland. 
Don't forget to check out all the UFC and MMA betting odds on the board right now at BetDSI.com. Make a few wagers and we'll see you in the winner's circle.